All right, guys, we're going to be uh, working on a Bowflex 552 Select Tech dumbbell system. We're going to do the tear down and rebuild. Um, this one here has a broken disc 5. The dial is disc 1, disc 2, disc 3, disc 4, disc 5. So we're going to replace the disc 5 that came off. It was dropped or maybe just wear over time. It broke. And you can replace any other part on this process. Make sure that uh, we're on 5, we're on our 5 pound mark when it came out of the the weights. So what we need here is just have a rag underneath to catch the ball bearings that are in here that are going to fall down. I have my my new part, screwdriver, two three quarter inch sockets. All right, so um, this is a series one system. I know that because it has red numbers on the dial. The series two has the white numbers. I'm going to take my screwdriver. I'm going to take these little end pieces off. And be careful not to damage these. Put them back on later. And that exposes my two bolts. Just going to put the socket on each end. Loosen that up. Now we're going to do the whole entire tear down. You don't necessarily always have to do that if you're replacing one part, but this will kind of cover the whole entire system. Okay, I have my, my bolt washer that came out. I'm going to set that aside. And then you can just push your finger in the hole and slide out the shaft. And put that aside. Now this thing's just going to fall apart. So I have my dial, which is disc one, disc two, three, four. This five metal disc, little washer there. Two springs and two balls. The, uh, the little click assembly that allows you to change weights. You have your handle, and then you just have the exact same thing on the other side. There's my broken part. Washer. Alright, so there it is, the whole entire dumbbell set taken apart in less than two minutes, three minutes. Got my new disc five I'm gonna put in here, and I know it's disc five because it actually has the little number on the disc. So I'm gonna put that in my row. And I'm gonna start assembling this. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my dial. And it has a keyway on it, so you're gonna see the bigger keyway. That's the bottom of the weight. See the five's on top, the keyway's right on the bottom, uh, the large one. So Start there. I'm going to line all these up. This is disc two. Sometimes they go on easy, they snap right into place. Two, three, four, five. So that's ready to go. I'm going to set that aside. Do the exact same thing with the other one. It doesn't matter if this goes on the left or right side. are ready. Now I have my parts here with the springs and ball bearings. So what I have here is a couple holes that the springs go into. So that's where that's going to sit. Grab your balls and those go right on top of the springs. You have your little clear washer that goes there and then like I said earlier the larger keyway goes down points down and you also have this little tab here so I'm going to put that right in place this is probably you just got to be careful on this part oops I have it upside down and then you can see the springs the springs actually fit into the little indentations there on the metal disc those little rounded parts so I have it in there, it kind of just springs up and down, it's just sitting on there. Put that to the side, gently, don't bump that. Exact same thing with the other part. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so everything's ready to go. Any parts that are new I would have in place now. I'm gonna grab my shaft. I'm going to put the weights or the, uh, the discs that hold the weights. I'm gonna slide that on my shaft here. Guys, no bad thoughts here. All right, so that's ready to go. Oops, one of those came. Came off, okay, it just came out of the little keyway, so I just, I have everything locked in place, you can't. Now I'm going to take this assembly here and press it together so the springs don't come out. So I'm holding it together and I'm gonna push it, turn it upside down so it goes on. And I have to line up the large keyway here. There, and that just locks into place the same way. So now I got it locked in place and I know that this is the bottom of the dumbbell. And it's just the springs just lightly let up, the springs will sit in place. Grab your handle. The handle only goes in one way. So drop it on and then just rotate it till it falls into place. There you go. Going to grab my other set of springs, my spring metal disc assembly. And I know which way is up, so I'm gonna put that in the exact same way. And this is all, as I push down, this whole thing's locked in place. You can't turn anything. Okay, be careful there, that's spring assembly as well. And then now I'm going to take the final part. Push that into place here. Okay, so there it is. Everything's locked into place. Now all I'm gonna grab is my bolt. Turn that in place a little bit. You want to here, you just want to get it tight enough to get enough tension so you can turn this on the side. So I'm holding the bottom the shaft with my finger and then I'm just tightening this up just enough. Alright, so there, there it is. Now I'm going to grab my socket and just tighten it up all the way and we're done. five on top so it should slide right into the, the weights put my covers back on now you might need to grab some glue and glue these back into place if they don't stick so basically we just fixed our select tech dumbbell system that one will probably need glued on um, you can get back to working out so you can find these parts online on eBay and instead of just letting it sit there broken fix it, it takes a couple minutes so you can get back uh, back in shape